Need some help finding some edge in the prop market? Check out the Props AI tool on the LineStar app, your one-stop shop for all the information you need to place smarter bets. Gain insights into player history, projections, and trends, along with sportsbook odds. You can even compare the lines across multiple sportsbooks using our Prop Finder. Get the edge with Props AI today at linestarapp.com and take your prop betting game to the next level. Good luck, and as always, bet responsibly. Welcome to the NBA Prop Show presented by LineStar. We've got your top three NBA player prop bets for today that are available on Underdog Fantasy, Prize Picks, Sleeper, and Chalkboard. Alongside Tyler Reeman, I am Shannon Somerville. Before we get into our picks for today, Tyler, I thought I would let you address the uh, elephant in the room or the mustache in the room, if you will, because we have been getting some comments about your mustache, and I'm just curious what the uh, inspiration was for this this new look that you've got going here. Is it... Is it uh, Goose Gossage, maybe a baseball player. Baseball season's around the corner. Underdog basketball. You know what is around the corner? Yeah. <laughs> um, honestly, it's just that uh, I had the little time to grow it, so I just let it go. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll probably cut it off a little uh, soon, but uh, you know, every now and then, I just like yeah. to have some fun with it. Well, if we start cashing our bets, then you can't you can't do it. You can't shave it. But um, oh, yesterday boy. we were uh, one and two on our picks. However, the one pick we did cash was Joel Embiid over on his points total. The line yesterday was thirty four and a half. And sure enough, he hit the over. Not only did he hit the over, but he set a Sixers record with seventy points yesterday, Tyler. So it felt cool to take the over on Embiid when he hit the uh, historic numbers that he did yesterday. So mm-hmm. we got that going for us. We Let's sure see if we do. can get some other records today. Maybe some of our picks will will also go off like they did yesterday. And uh, speaking of our picks, they're available again on Underdog Fantasy, Prize Picks, Sleeper, Chalkboard. If you don't have those apps, download them. Use the promo code LINESTAR for $100 for your deposit match. And if you're watching us right now on YouTube, do us a huge favor. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, comment below. A comment helps out the YouTube algorithm, but it also helps us out and you out because it enters you into our prop bets contest, whereby if we go three for three, someone's getting $60. We'll set off the money gun and announce the winner on tomorrow's podcast if we go three for three. So let's manifest some wins for today. It is Taco Tuesday on prize picks too. So it's a big day. So let's get you some picks to pair with that taco on prize picks. If you don't know what I'm talking about, it's basically like a discounted prop on prize picks. You can check that out. The links are below to that. And again, that promo code you want to use is LineStar. Let's get into it. All right, we're going to start things off with my favorite team. The New York Knicks are going up against the Brooklyn Nets in a battle of New York. And we're going with Jalen Brunson, over 28 and a half points. As you can see, Line Star projecting the over. And in fact, Brunson averaging under just 26 and a half over the course of the season. However, in the month of January, that's up to just under 29 points per game. He's gone over that 28 and a half mark for the last five games. And going up against Brooklyn, a team that's got great defense. However, when I'm looking at this, Tyler, I think that they allow the fourth fewest points in the paint. And so I think that might create some opportunities for some of the guards like Jalen Brunson. He's also been pretty phenomenal since that trade where they got rid of R.J. Barrett and Emmanuel Quigley, sent Mm -hmm. them to Toronto. So he's really had to step up, be be the guy for the Knicks, the guard that they need him to be. And I think he will be that guy tonight against Brooklyn Nets. I think that kind of, this game kind of, I think this is a Jalen Brunson game. We had talked a little bit before the show. Do we think this is a Brunson game or a Randall game? And I think with the way that Randall plays, he scores most of his points and does his damage in the paint where the Nets play their best defense. So that's kind of the way I see things. How do you see things here for Jalen Brunson? Yeah, I mean, there's absolutely a chance that Randall is playing more of the five today, which, Mm -hmm. you know, would take him from being on the wing quite as much as he normally is. But overall, I just think that with the trade, that more usage has been going through Brunson and Randall. And without uh, Barrett, Robinson, and Hartinson, Brunson is scoring 38.9 points per 100 possessions. So number is really big, plenty big enough for him to get over this uh, 28.5 even versus a tough defense. So mm-hmm. I like uh, I like going Brunson, Brunson here. All right, let's go. Go Knicks. 
All right, on the other flip side of that matchup, I do have to take advantage of a spot where I know the Knicks are weak, and that is two opposing guards in this one. So Spencer Dinwiddie, over five and a half assists is looking good, minus 145 in your sports books. Line star and the consensus, both liking the over here. Dinwiddie's averaging 5.9 per game. Tyler, what do you like about Spencer Dinwiddie's line for tonight on that assist prop? Spencer Dinwiddie is a very frustrating player because sometimes he just <laughs> wants to join the all cardio team. However, mm -hmm. at least he still does pass the ball in those games. He is a good passer. He's averaging 5.9 assists uh, per game over the last 20. But more importantly, the Knicks are allowing 8.6 per game and eight of the last 10 point guards have been over this line. So I think it's a good spot to attack with uh, Dinwiddie for at least his assist. It's the one thing we can count on him yeah. game in and game out with. And the other thing for the Knicks is they're likely going to be without their center Isaiah Hartenstein in this one where they have already been kind of Mitchell Robinson, their starting setters out for the season. So they were already kind of thin mm -hmm. there. So now without Hartenstein, that's going to be a huge blow to that defense for the Knicks. So I think there will be opportunities for Dinwiddie to, you know, get the ball to the interior and get some assist that way as well. So this Knicks defense, it'll be interesting to see how they kind of, how they cope without Hartenstein tonight. That's something to watch. He is unlikely for tonight. So we'll have to keep an eye on that one, but makes me like this prop even more. All right. Lastly, let's go to Anthony Davis over 31 and a half points and assists at minus 135. Now, a big component of this prop is no LeBron James for tonight. So AD gets a little bit bit of a boost. Tyler, why don't you talk us through some of the numbers here for Anthony Davis and how he could be impacted with the absence of LeBron tonight? Yeah, so the line here is 31.5. Our uh, line start projections over, the consensus is over. He's averaging 31.7 over the last 20 games. And most of that, if not all of it, is with LeBron James. So with LeBron James, he's at 33 points per 100 and five assists per 100 without LeBron he goes up to 36.2 points per 100 and 5.7 assists so he's getting a decent bump in both categories here so I like the chances in a game the Lakers really do need to win they are decent mm -hmm. underdogs here and if they do win this game or at least keep it very close it is going to be because of AD yeah going to be an interesting matchup for sure. On the other side of things, the Clippers without Avita Zubats in this one could impact mm -hmm. things on their defense and could help out this prop as well. So a lot of factors playing into that one. I like when we can get a little bit of leverage with some, uh, you hate to see you guys injured, but hey, we can take advantage of it in the prop market. So why not? Uh, if you haven't already, check out the Props AI tool on the Line Star app. It'll help you find the best value in the prop market. And you can tail our picks or fade us if you would like on Underdog Fantasy Prize Picks, Sleeper, or Chalkboard. I hope you don't fade us, though. I know we were one and two yesterday, but we'll get it back. Don't you worry. Hey, we did get that Joel Embiid over on points. I was pretty pumped about that. I was excited. When you had texted me that, hey, he had already hit it, basically, in the first half. Wait, I was like, okay, he... we're good. He had 24 points in the first quarter. It was just amazing. He was yeah, absolutely just dominating. Yeah, earlier in the day, we had had some comments from folks being like, well, this could be a blowout situation, in which case, like, should we be worried about this one? And we're like, yeah, he could do a lot of damage in a short amount of time. Don't you worry. And sure enough, it came to fruition for us. The thing in the NBA is you can't predict a blowout. And most right. of the time when it's a blowout, it's not until late third quarter, early fourth mm -hmm. that it really happens. So the guys end up playing most of, if not all of their normal minutes anyways. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you can't really factor it in too much. Yeah. All right, so just to quickly recap our picks, Jalen Brunson over 28.5 points, Spencer Dinwiddie over 5.5 assists, Anthony Davis over 31.5 points and assists. And just another one to note, we were also considering Nick Claxton over 24.5 points and rebounds, but we obviously didn't want to have three from the same game. But Claxton is one that you could consider as well. Line Star likes it. And again, Nick's uh, center, Isaiah Hartenstein, unlikely to play in this one, which could mean good things for Nick Claxton. And of course, he's a former Georgia Bulldogs, so we love Nick Claxton, even though he's playing against the Knicks tonight. That's got to go with the dogs whenever possible, Tyler. You know this role. <laughs> yep. And they're, uh, you know, very tough classes they give the players.
Oh, here we go. So Tyler sent me an article yesterday that was apparently James Cook running back for the Buffalo Bills, former Georgia Bulldog. His, I guess some of his essays or something from his classes at Georgia went viral or something. Some class assignments. It is so bad. (laughs) I, you know, yeah, I, I worry about the education at, uh, Uh. Your alma mater. Come on. Due to that. Come on. Oh, it was bad. That's a that's a great education. Come on. Uh, All right. Proof is not in the pudding. <laughs> well, he had some props for us this weekend over on the <laughs> he, receiving yard. So he can play football, that's for sure. So as long as he can start he can keep cashing for us, we're good, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> I hope we're fixed cash for you guys today. Good luck in all of your prop betting endeavors for today. And again, if you haven't already, give us a comment. Let me know what the locks are for tonight for you guys and where you're headed in the prop department. Let's all help each other out and try to beat the books on this Tuesday. Good luck to you guys. We'll see you next time. Have a good one.